Hello, my dear Gemini. Welcome back to Practical Mystic. Um, this episode is actually a Tagalog version, so I will try my best to speak in Tagalog. And um, uh, by the way, um, ito ay babasahin ko sa pangkalahatan. So, um, hindi ito masasabing one-to-one -one na taro reading. So, kung ano man yung specific na message na nag-resonate sa'yo, yun lang din yung i-keep mo. And then, huwag mo nang um, seryosohin yung iba pa na mga mensahe na hindi naman nag-resonate sa'yo. So, I'm gonna read this using my intuition and you're gonna discern the specific message for you using your intuition also. Um, alamin natin kung ano ang mensahe para sa iyo ngayong buwan ng Hunyo. Universe, spirits, angels, and sisters, and celestial things. But does my dear Gemini need to know? By the way, um, gagamitin po na tarot deck is the um, tarot of opposition at gagamitin ako ng beginner tarot deck. At meron din ako mga oracle cards like the powerful thought cards by Louise Hay at ang karma cards. Inverse, spirits, angels, and sisters, and celestial things. What does my dear Gemini need to know for this month of June? Okay, so we have here my dear Gemini. Ang unang card para sa iyo is um, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Nakikita mo ba yan? That's the Queen of Queen of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse is saying the, a specific problem is coming up that will involve you continually and may cause you to lose the emotional balance you need. Upcoming situations require rationality, calculation, coolness. Your enemies are anger, haste, and anything that will make you move away from your higher self. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, may paparating na problema, isang malaking problema na darating sa buhay mo, to the extent na maaaring apektado yung emotional aspect emotional aspect mo at maaaring nawalan, mawawalan ka ng control sa, sa iyong sarili. So, it could be um, mahirap na problema na darating hanggang sa apektado yung mental aspect mo at saka emotional aspect. Magsisimula talaga yan sa mental kasi kapag nag-overthink tayo masyado sa problema na darating sa buhay, magiging apektado na yung yung emotional aspect. Yung uh, uh, emotion, kagaya ng um, worry. Ano ba yun sa Tagalog? It's pagkabahala ba? Um, or kalungkutan, maaari. Kalungkutan, pagkabahala, pangamba, or galit, maaari. Depende sa problema na uh, darating sa buhay, sa buhay mo. Tapos, masasabi natin na magiging out of balance ka dahil sa mga pangyayari. And, sa, sa darating na pangyayari na yan, yung nabanggit ko kanina, is kailangan mo talagang pag-isipan ng mabuti kung ano ang dapat gawin. Be rational. Rational in the sense na gagamitin mo talaga yung yung analytical, critical thinking mo in, in your left brain hemisphere, which is also termed as the masculine masculine brain, um, dapat dapat hindi mo kaila, uh, dapat hindi mo kalimutan na maging kalmado ka sa mga pangyayari, kasi kailangan yung peace of mind, uh, peace of mind para makapag-isip ka ng um, ano yung tama na desisyon uh, despite sa mga 
problema na darating at ito'y dapat paghandaan mo at hindi ka dapat mapaghinaan ng loob. Dapat um, 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 kahit gaano pa yan kalaki na, pro na problema is that um, nandun pa rin yung peace of mind at saka um, serenity of the heart. Okay? So, hindi ka dapat mag magmadali. No? So, um, maging kalmado ka lang. And in, in this case, maaring magagalit yung, yung mga kalaban mo or or ano pa, ano pa yun na mga bagay na yan. Um, kasi, I guess, um, sa tingin ko, ang problema na darating sa iyo is isang pangyayari, isang pangyayari na maaring um, magdulot ng disconnection between your uh, yourself, yung sarili mo na nakilala mo, at saka yung higher self mo. Uh, higher self, which I mean, your, your inner soul, um, your um, intuition. Okay? So, hindi hindi lahat sa mga pangyayari, uh, hindi lahat ng mga gawain or ginagawa natin sa buhay is according to, to your intuition, to your inner voice or your soul. So, um, maari ang problema na darating sa iyo is na, magkakaroon na magkakaroon lamang ng disconnection between your ego self and your um, intuitive self yung intuitive self mo is yung tinatawag na higher self so so kailangan mong paghandaan talaga na expected um yung problema na darating sa buhay mo is something that will disconnect you from your ego self to to your um, something that will uh, disconnect you from your your higher self, which is the intuitive soul. So, dapat um, be careful. Um, maging kalmado ka. Have a peaceful mind so that you can think and analyze the situation in order to come up a rational decision regarding this problem. And with the Queen of Queen of Wands in reverse, I sorry, Queen of Swords in reverse is that we have here is the 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 Emperor in reverse, the Emperor in reverse with with the Emperor in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Nakasaan dito na um, maaaring um, magkakaroon ka ng sentencing ba to? Lack of control. You might have lack of control. At saka yung, yung katigasan ng ulo or yung tinatawag na stubbornness, stubbornness and lack of discipline. Okay. So um um, kagaya na sinabi ko kanina, may, may problema na darating na kung saan ang, ang, ang problema na ito ay maaaring um, magdulot ng disconnection to your, sa, sa iyong uh, intuition or higher self. So, um, pero um, malalagpasan din ito only when you have uh, peaceful mind kasi nga kapag peaceful yung mind mo makapag-isip ka ng bagay na maaaring maging solusyon sa uh, isang wasto na solusyon sa iyong para, para sa iyong problema at saka um, magiging balansi ka din agad and with that nakasaad dito the emperor in reverse is nangangahulugan na um, yung pagkakaroon mo ng kulang sa disiplina, uh, kulang sa uh, self-control, or um, maaring ang iba sa inyo is inaabuso ninyo yung 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 abilidad or kapangyarihan. Tapos, yung yung chakra mo, 
uh, which is the the root chakra so kailangan maging balance eh um mag gagawa ka ng mga bagay kailangan gawin mo yung mga routine na nakakatulong para maging uh, balance ang iyong root chakra so it, ito ang kasi maaring ito ang dahilan kung bakit um na out of balance ka sa mga pangyayari and with that we have here the signs signs from the karma cards okay um mensahe para sa iyong kaluluwa is that um listen to intuition respect your intuition ang ang pagkakaalam ko sa intuition is yan uh, intuition is yung tinatawag na higher higher self yan yung inner voice na meron ka um, may gusto kang gawin pero yung inner voice mo or yung intuition nagsasabi na wag kasi uh, hindi natin alam pero yun ang sinasabi ng intuition mo so um, again kal kailangan mo um, sundin kung ano man yung dikta ng intuition sa iyo kahit na hindi mo alam kung ano ang dahilan but still you, you have to follow because you know your intuition is your soul um, your inner voice hindi, hindi natin alam ang, ang dahilan pero um, nag work out yung intuition natin sa lahat ng bagay na ginagawa natin kasi alam alam ng intuition kung ano ang tama madali siyang maka, maka discern kung ano ang dapat gawin and we are we are sometimes not able to follow our intuition because of our ego kasi nga itong ego na meron sa atin bawat isa sa atin may ego ang ang gusto kasi ni ego is uh, um nag um iniiwasan niya yung pain matatakot siyang mag-decide kasi maaring mag babagsak lang din siya sa kanyang mga plano um iniiwasan ni ego yung yung masaktan, iniiwasan ni ego yung mag-take risk, something, something along those lines. So, um, it is our ego self na naging hindrance para i-follow natin yung ating intuitive self. So, um, pero yung mensahe sa iyo ng, para sa iyong kalulo is that um, re, uh, you have to listen, protect, and respect your intuition. Okay? So, sundin mo lang kung ano yung dikta sa'yo ng, ng intuition mo. And, ang mensahe naman para sa iyong isipan is that attitudes from the past about... Okay. Um, kailangan mong kailangan mong baguhin yung um, pakikitungo mo or kung ano man yung um response mo kapag naalala mo yung past so uh, you might have painful past experience meron kang mga uh, di ka nais nais na mga karanasan sa sa past so dapat mo nang baguhin yon so kung kung maalala mo man siya dapat mo nang kalimutan kung kung ito ay something hindi maganda baguhin mo na lang yung yung at yung pananaw mo at yung 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 pakiramdam mo every time na ma, ma, maalala mo yung painful past experience mo um, it is better if um, maalala mo yung yung positive or good experiences na na mayroon ka sa past okay pero kung negative man yung yung lagi mong maalala yung negative past experiences Um, panahon na siguro para baguhin mo yung attitude or yung yung perception mo tungkol dyan. So, every time na maalala mo yung mga bad memories in the, from the past, is that uh, gawan mo ng paraan na hindi magiging negative yung emotion mo pag maalala mo yun. Or, baguhin mo yung per, yung uh, perspektibo mo tungkol sa sa mga karanasan na yun para maging mapanatili yung high vibrations na meron ka. 
And ang dapat mong gawin is that um, for, for your body is that soul, mind, and okay, with regards to your physical aspect is that kung makapag-isip, kung mababago mo lang yung pag-iisip mo, every time na maalala mo yung, yung negative past experiences na meron ka, so syempre, apitado yung physical aspect mo. Um, magiging masaya ka kung, uh, kung na nakayanan mong baguhin yung attitude mo every time na maalala mo yung past experience. So magiging masaya ka at magiging positibo ka while you are facing the present time, no? Um, so for now uh, do not let yourself be imprisoned by your past and so that you can really enjoy the good times of this present okay so I hope na naiintindihan mo yung yung pagtatagalog ko <laughs> and I'm sorry about it okay so we have here for the powerful thought cards is that love and approve yourself. So, before anything else, kung ano pa man yung problema na darating sa buhay natin, um, una sa lahat, which is pinaka importante is mahalin mo yung sarili mo tapos i-approve mo din kung ano yung yung mga mabuti na meron ka. Uh, mabubuting I mean, mabuting uh, katangian na meron ka. Approve could, could also mean na i-affirm mo kung anong ang meron sa'yo. Affirm yourself. Affirm all um, inspirational inspirational words for yourself. Affirm it to yourself. Okay. So, um, ito um, ito na yung isa sa mga affirmations na mabuti para sa iyo. I hope na mababasa mo. I appreciate. Okay, so this is for you, my dear Gemini. I appreciate. I don't know. You appreciate all that they, all that you do, and you are good enough just as you are. You speak up for yourself. You ask for for what you want and you claim your you claim it your power okay um <clears throat> sa lahat ng mga bagay na ginagawa mo kailangan mong i-appreciate i-appreciate mo or dapat maging masaya ka sa lahat ng mga ginagawa mo tapos i-appreciate mo yung achievements mo kung ano man yung mga na narating sa buhay uh, narating mo sa buhay or ano man yung naga na natapos mong gawin eh, kailangan mong i-appreciate no? pahalagahan mo ito at um, mag, mag celebrate ka dahil, dahil na-achieve mo ito Nag nagawa mo yung mga bagay na dapat mong gawin at natapos mo din ito so it, it's, it is also good na mag celebrate ka para sa sarili mo dahil um, na nagawa mo ito at you have to affirm to yourself na you are good enough that you are worthy that that you are proud of of being who you are you, you speak you speak the truth about yourself you, you speak it to yourself that you are enough that you are sufficient and because you know your worth you don't you do not need someone else validation alam mo kung sino ka alam mo kung ano ang bagay na meron ka alam mo yung potential mo, yung kahinaan mo, tanggap mo yung kahinaan mo at ipinapahalagahan mo yung yung potential na meron ka. So, naging maging proud ka sa sarili mo at dahil alam mo kung ano yung worth mo, so hindi mo na kailangan yung yung appraisal or yung validation ng ibang tao. Wala ka nang pakialam kung ano man yung sabihin nila kasi alam alam mo sa sarili mo na mahalaga ka, you know your worth, you are valuable. You, and you are proud of 
of yourself that you have come so far and you've done so much and and because of that you claim your power lahat ng mga pangyayari sa buhay mo nangyayari na, na, nangyayari yan lahat dahil may purpose may 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 kadahilanan and i know for sure na ito lahat ay nangyayari hindi para maging negative ka kundi para maging maging positive positibo ka sa buhay and in fact mas dadagdagan yung kumpiyansa mo sa sarili or yung yung strength na meron ka you you are becoming stronger because of the circumstances na dumarating sa buhay mo ah in, in tagalog is nagiging mas malakas ka or nagiging malakas yung paano ba yan naging nagiging mas matapang ka dahil sa mga pangyayari na um, dumarating sa buhay mo I hope I am clear. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the second column of cards. For the tarot of opposition is we have this one. This is the the world in reverse. Oh my god. The world. The world in reverse. This is an arcana card. Naka, nakapagsabi ako na, oh my god. Kasi nga, the world is an arcana card from the tarot of opposition um the world it's it is about stepping into an unknown kaya lang it is in reverse okay um Patrial success and satisfactory results may also presage the end of problems or worries. New intentions are favored as well as the beginning of relationships, work, and travel. All this will require abandoning rigid certainties and letting yourself be carried by the beautiful possibilities that life offers. Um, patrial success and satisfactory results. May also presage, presage the end of problems or worries. Okay. Nakikita mo ba yan? Okay. That is a the world in reverse. So yung interpretation ko dito is that magkakaroon, magtatagumpay ka at sa um, satisfaction na na nakamit na mo sa iyong tagumpay ay nagdudulot ng ano ba yan um uh, katapusan ng iyong problema at mawawala na din yung mga pangamba mo or um yeah mawawala na yung problema mo kapag wala uh, yung mga pangamba mo kapag wala na rin problema so magkakaroon ka rin ng bagong intensyon. Um, at because, um, dahil may bago kang mga intensyon, ito ay um, maaaring magkakaroon ng mga panibago. Panibago sa, or panibagong simula. Panibago, simula. Parang pareha lang sila. Um, paano ba ito interpret? Dahil may meron kang mga uh, new and good intention or in Filipino bago at at bago at <laughs> mabuting intention so with that na, na, na attract sa iyo ang mga pa, uh, yung mga panibagong simula uh, new beginnings Panibagong, panibagong simula sa relasyon, sa trabaho, at sa um, paglalakbay. No? A new beginning in relationships, work, career, and travel. Relationships could be either family and uh, family or um, love life. Yes. So, um, pero ang kinakailangan dito is uh, kailangan mo nang lisanin yung mga um 
yung mga old energies na 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 encounter mo before um kasi nga before you are experiencing rigid certainties and letting yourself be carried by the beautiful um yung mga nakagawian mo dati yung mga old habits na meron ka tapos you are experiencing rigid certainties yung mga um parang na obsess ka sa mga bagay na nakagawian mo so kailangan mo nang uh, i-let go yung mga old energies in order to attract new energies naman um to attract new energies is by having uh, good and new intentions so once once you have this intention in a form of manifestation then you will attract new beginnings panibagong simula uh, panibago tapos simula para sa relasyon sa karera sa buhay at uh, yung paglalakbay mo sa buhay and with, with the uh, the world in reverse we have here the two of the three of cups the three of cups implies celebrations or this could mean friendships so maaaring magkakaroon ka ng mga bagong kaibigan mag magkakaroon ka ng panibago sa karera mo na kung saan nag, -nag celebrate ka kasi this is something new to you nag um ipi ipinag ipinag ano ba yung celebration sa tagalog um ipinagdiwang mo ito kung ano man yung achievements na meron ka sa bagong karera mo sa buhay kasama yung mga mga kaibigan mo okay this is three of cups in reverse uh, no three of cups in upright sorry so magkakaroon ka ng reunions celebrations or mag uh, you would have parties with your friends okay you are socializing them or magkakaroon ng gatherings doon sa workplace new workplace na uh, darating sa iyo tapos um, of course pag mag magse-celebrate ka kasama sila magiging masaya ka uh, habang nag nag nag-enjoy ka kasama sila and you you would have uh, good times actually um this is this is Pisces energy Pisces energy this could all, could also mean that your third eye chakra is balanced okay so this is good for you um kailangan mo talagang mag uh, kailangan mo talagang magkaroon ng bago at mabuting intensyon para mag mag attract sa iyo ang panibagong simula na kung saan um magiging masaya ka at magse-celebrate magse-celebrate ka magse-celebrate ano ba yan sa tagalog mag mag ipagdiwang mo yung panibagong simula yung new beginnings na magkakaroon ka either sa yung relation sa yung mga karelasyon or sa sa karera sa buhay at yung mga um, travels na meron ka and with, with that uh, three of cups in the upright is that you have the planets kanina it it was the karma card of signs here is the karma card of planets and we have here ang mensahe para sa yung kaluluwa is energize energize ano ba yun sa tagalog um kailangan mong pasiglahin ang yung ang yung intuitive self siguro may may paparating na problema sa iyo na paghihinaan ka ng loob na nagiging emotionally unstable ka so, ang mensahe para sa yung intuitive self, I mean, your, to your soul is, energize it. Di, hindi ka dapat paghinaan ng loob. Do not be um, hapless or hopeless about it. So, you should have a fighting spirit, a very energetic spirit. And, 
the message for to your mind is confront confront to something um kung meron kung 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 naalala mo man yung negative past experiences kailangan mo i-confront ito now is the time to speak speak for the truth speak about yourself confront it na um baguhin mo yung attitude every time na maalala mo itong mga painful past experiences I, baguhin mo yung perspective the, the way you the way you feel and think about this painful past experience or an anong uh, kahit gaano pa yan ka negative na pa, past experience so so it's the time it is the time to confront to it and change the way you feel and think about it every time you remember it confront it within your mind it, it's time to be optimistic every time you remember your negative past experiences and um the message to your physical aspect is force yourself to force yourself to to make new and good intentions okay so para para magkakaroon ka ng mga panibago at mabuting simula is that um kailangan mong um ano ba itong force sa tagalog ha ah uh, force yourself to 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 have good intentions oh my god Lord. <laughs> dapat may um mag magpursigi ka magpursigi ka sa sarili mo na magkaroon ka ng panibago at mabuting intensyon para magmanifest ito and when you are able to manifest it darating sa iyo yung mga uh, mag-attract sa iyo yung good energies like new beginnings in relationships career uh, family and uh, travel goals or ano pa yung goals na uh, gusto mong i-manifest. So, by the way, ito as confirmation to this one. Nagkaroon ka ng emperor in reverse kasi um, hindi balance yung root chakra mo. So, para maging balance yung root chakra mo is dapat ka mag-meditate, mag-yoga. The message here is you balance your masculine and feminine sides. Actually, we also have gender of brain uh, gender of gender of minds um sa sa ating sa ating utak it it consists of two brain hemispheres the, the, the first is the right hemisphere and the second is the left hemisphere of the brain itong itong right hemisphere na meron tayo eh uh, nakapaloob yung intuition natin so yan ang tinatawag na uh, female female brain. Tapos, dito sa left brain hemisphere natin, dyan nakapaloob yung rational thinking skills natin, yung analytical thinking, um, critical thinking, mati mathematical ability, yung sort of. So, um, itong left brain hemisphere natin is tinatawag na masculine, masculine brain. So, in order to balance both the, the masculine and feminine sides that we have, or yung mga pambabae at panlalaki na katangian na meron tayo is that we, we can balance it through meditation and yoga just like the girl here um, in, in this post nag, nag meditate siya no? it, it is really balanced kasi uh, kung may tatlong puno dito meron din tatlong puno dito and uh, ang, yung, ang araw na ito ay nag uh, it, it symbolizes the the feminine uh, the feminine sides that we have tapos yung moon dito it symbolizes the masculine sides kasi it, it, nandito siya sa uh, nandito siya sa left tapos yung yung sana dito sa right so it's 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 really it is really balanced so para maging balance eh, ang ating masculine and feminine sides is that you have to do uh, yoga and meditation and uh, the powerful thought card here says the masculine and feminine parts 
of you are in perfect balance and harmony. You are at peace and all is well. So, um, you, are, you are going to achieve a, a peaceful mind and a serene heart, uh, a sound body through meditation and yoga. And everything is well. So, if, only if uh, kung, kung peaceful lang yung mind natin at saka yung heart natin, um, sasabay na yung physical aspect natin. Um, so, makakayanan talaga natin yung, yung paparating na problema sa ating buhay because we have a peaceful mind. And because we have a peaceful mind, makakapag-isip tayo ng mabuti kung ano yung decision na tama para malagpasa natin ang paparating na problema. So, be careful. Dapat magpagandaan yan. Uh, so, for now, dapat mag, uh, mag-meditate ka, mag- yoga ka para balance talaga yung lahat ng chakras mo sa katawan. And then we have here, OMG, this is the Eight of Swords in the verse. Eight of Swords in the verse. Nakikita mo ba yan? Nakikita mo ba yan? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Yung mga espada, nakatusok lang siya sa, sa base. Tapos, ikaw, um, ikaw tong nakaupo, tapos nakatali yung kamay mo sa likod. Tapos, parang, uh, naka, naka, anong tawag yun? Um, you bow your head. Parang ganun. Naka, naka, naka-incline pababa yung ulo mo. So, the eight of swords in the verse, ano ba yan? Eight of swords in the verse, Are you a prisoner of your own mind? Be honest and try to understand if the causes of your pain are inside you. Come out of the darkness of sadness and fear. Seek the guidance you need to look within. Make painful decisions and grow. Make painful decisions and grow. Alright, so meaning to say, ito palang Eight of Swords is double confirmation ito sa... Ano yun na card? Um... Karma card na ito. Double confirmation siya na uh, meron kang karanasan na nagdulot ng uh, sakit. Sakit sa isipan at sakit sa kalooban, sakit sa puso, sakit sa pangangatawan. Kasi nga, kapag low vibrational yung, yung puso natin, yung, yung emosyon, apektado yung katawan natin at ang ating, ang ating sistema, ang ating, ang, ang ating isipan. So, um, ikaw ito, para kang depressed. Um, dahil, parating mong naaalala yung mga masasakit na karanasan na meron ka sa past, sa nakaraan. Okay. So, ito yung nagdudulot ng depression. Nag nagdudulot ng, ng sakit. Okay kalungkutan at takot. So, kung hindi man sakit, maaaring kalungkutan at takot. So, ito yung now is the time for you to to seek guidance. Look within yourself. Actually, kaya mo itong baguhin. It, it's a matter of it's all in the mind actually. Parang yung yung isipan mo lang talaga yung yung dapat mong baguhin kasi nga kapag mababago mo yung pananaw mo every time na maalala mo yung yung past mo then you can overcome this it's it's only actually we have the power to change our consciousness we have we have the power of our own consciousness we can change it so kung kung magpapatuloy ka sa pag-iisip sa pag-aalala sa mga masakit na karanasan sa buhay mo magdudulot yan ng sakit sa, kalo, sa kalooban, sa isipan, at buong sistema na yung katawan. So, um, ah, pero meron kang kakayahan na baguhin mo yung isipan kasi kapag mababago mo yung isipan mo, magbabago din ang iyong pananaw every time na maalala mo yung painful past na meron ka. So, 
now is the time to to change your attitude about the past experiences that you have baguhin mo yung isipan mo kapag maalala mo tong masakit na karanasan na meron ka sa, sa nakaraan okay para para hindi ka magkasakit sa sa depression sa or sa pangamba na na meron ka teka wala akong beginner card para dito okay so let me get a beginner tarot card for you lumabas itong si Kuan si ano itong si two of swords in the upright it's all about decision so ang mensahe dito is that now is the time to make decision all right you can actually create good decision because this is double confirmation to to the three of cups in the upright na nagsasabing balance talaga yung uh, yung third eye chakra mo so maaring maari talagang posible na magkakaroon ka ng uh, mabuting decision okay now for the two of two of swords in the upright you are sitting on the fence or you are at the crossroads andiyan ka lang sa ano sa gitna nakaupo tapos meron kang dalawang espada habang nakatakip yung mata ibig sabihin ibig sabihin meron kang dalawang decision na, na dapat ah, dalawang bagay na dapat ibalanse dito ka ba sa decision A or dito ka ba sa decision B tapos nakatakip yung mata mo kasi nga wala ka talagang ideya kung alin sa dalawa, alin sa dalawa ang dapat mong pag, pagpipilian so um, the, the phrase that would describe you in this situation is that you are sitting on the fence I, hindi mo alam kung saan ka papatungo you're at the crossroad nakaupo ka lang dyan tapos daladala mo tong dalawang bagay na dapat mong pagdidesisyonan at wala kang ideya kung alin sa dalawa so you're just handling both two swords but actually posible talaga ang mangyayari sa iyo na makapagdesisyon ka ng mabuti ng, ng dahil sa double confirmation na meron kang third eye yung third eye chakra mo is well balanced <coughs> balance siya oh andito pala nakatago yung yung um tarot card para sa iyo bigyan ng tarot card for you this is the chariot in reverse the chariot in reverse <coughs> this is pisces energy i guess um ano ba yung um kailangan mong kailangan mong gawing balanse ang throat chakra mo yung throat chakra mo para makapagpatuloy ka sa pagsasabi ng katotohanan para sa iyo i mean in english is that you have to make your throat chakra balance so that you can continue speaking the truth speak for the truth speak truth about yourself okay and it implies forcefulness for forcefulness lack of direction lack of self control powerlessness aggression or coercion maring ito yung nangangulog nangangulugan na kulang ka sa katatagan ng loob um, you you lack power to decide parang ganon parang hindi pa sapat yung lakas na kailangan para makapag decision ka parang parang nawalan parang wala kang lakas ng loob na mamili kung saan sa dalawa ang gusto mong piliin parang ganon you, you lack power to decide parang parang ganon <laughs> all right tapos the karma card for you is the karma card for houses wow all right perfect kasi you have you have signs you also have planets and now you have houses okay ito ayun dito um pahalagahan mo yung mga spiritual values na meron ka that's the message for your soul aspect okay tapos for your mind 
Okay. Um, Mag-isip ka ng mabuti, ng matagal, habang ikay naglalakbay. So, maaaring makatulong sa iyo ang maggawa ng ang makagawa ng mabuting desisyon sa pamamagitan ng paglalakbay. Go to a place where you can relax, meditate, where you can uh, where you can free yourself. And when you are in that place, you might be able to think totally in in order to to decide the best among these two choices in order to come up with the right decision para maka, magkaroon ka ng mabuting decision ma, ma, mapipilian mo I, I mean ma, para mapili mo yung alin ang tama tamang decision sa dalawa okay I hope na nakita mo tapos um Ang mensahe para sa yung physical aspect is that um, ibahagi mo sa ibang tao kung kung ano yung meron ka, kung ano yung gifts, spiritual gifts or um, material gifts na meron ka, or maaring oras. Uh, time is also something that you can share to others. Yung yung time mo, yung mga resources na meron ka, yung yung pera or maaring bagay, mga material na bagay, or spiritual gifts na meron ka. So, um, the physical aspect is saying na kung ano man yung meron ka, is dapat i-share mo sa iba. Tapos, we have here the power of thought cards saying, you deserve the best. You deserve the best and you accept and, and you accept the best na. You deserve the best and you accept the best now. And you are mentally and emotionally equipped to enjoy a prosperous and loving life. It is your birthright to deserve all good and you claim your good. Ibig sabihin, kung ano man yung paparating na problema sa buhay mo as as confirmed by as conveyed by the Queen of Swords in reverse paparating siya sa buhay mo kasi um, alam kasi alam ng Panginoon na kakayanin mo ito at lahat lahat ng ito lahat ng mga pangyayari na dumarating sa buhay mo ay para lang din sa kabutihan mo na maging mature ka naging uh, nag-improve ka or you grow out from it um, tapos nangyayari ito lahat kasi nga you are mentally and emotionally equipped. Ibig sabihin na kaya mo talagang malagpasan ang mga ito. You are just tested mentally and emotionally. H hindi mo ma 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 matutuklasan sa sarili mo na mentally strong ka at emotionally powerful kung hindi ka hindi ka magkakaroon ng pagsubok. Y you will only realize how powerful you are once you are being tested. Okay? Mag- um, hindi mo madidiscovery sa buhay mo na na matapang ka pala kung hindi darating sa iyo ang mga pagsubok. I, I hope na malinaw yun para sa iyo. And actually um, kapalaran mo talaga ang magiging masaya at magiging prospero sa buhay. Um, ano ba yung prospero sa Tagalog? Hindi ko alam. Prosperous or magiging matagumpay, magiging productive sa buhay. It's just that um yung yung mga pagsubok na um, dumating tapos lilisan sa buhay, may may purpose 'yan. It's all for the good. It's all for the good for you. Okay? Um you are tested in order to uh to make you realize how powerful you are emotionally, how strong you are mentally okay so this is what i have for you my dear gemini i hope na my specific message mula dito na nag resonate sa you and see you in the next reading god bless